Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brain Block here again. And today's recipe is basically going to be on how to make a simple Swiss roll cake. So first of all, what I've done is I've preheated the oven to um, gas mark 6 or 7, which is 415 um, Fahrenheit and 215 degrees. So do that first and then secondly, get a large rectangular baking tray. So this is 25 times 30 centimeters or 10 times 12 inches. And I've oil the bottom of the greasing pan and the side and then I've put, put a grease proof paper on top and oil that as well as well as all the corners inside so those two other things you need to do at the start then I've already done this for convenience purposes too I've uh, basically whisked with an electric whisk three eggs in here in a, in a plastic bowl for about three to five minutes or until um, the cake, the, the, sorry, the egg mixture is very clear or pale like that, so you need to stop when it's pretty uh, pale, so you're talking an off whitey yellow colour. So that's what you want, and I've already prepared that here. So now, what you need for the recipe is some self raising flour, uh, light muscovado sugar about a tub of double cream, and I use Elmerly brand, brand, and I've also got some ground almonds here as well, so use those as well, and also have a bit of sugar handy, for which I'll tell you about later. Um, you'll also need like a scale, a small um, safe, a tablespoon, and of course a plastic bowl. So first of all, we're gonna sift the flour and add it to our large bowl of in the egg whites. So that's what we're going to do. So we need 110 grams of self raising flour. Just going to measure that now. Oh, that's about perfect. -ish. So I'm just going to quickly sift that into the bowl of where my egg whites are. And a good way to save is just tap the saver against your palm gently so you're not uh, so you're controlling the amount you're saving and you're also not getting flour everywhere. So that's a nice tip to save efficiently. Okay, that's nearly done now. in our garden so if you heard that cockadoodle do it was a hen. Um, so we have organic eggs. So 125 grams of black muscovado sugar next. So again, we are going to just add this to the bowl until everything has basically um, been incorporated. So just fold it into the bowl. By that I mean slowly mix it, don't mix it very hard. So because you don't want to um, take the air bubbles out of the egg mixture. And because this is like muscovado sugar, um, it has lumps, so I'm just using a tablespoon first to um, basically get the lumps out of the sugar. So I recommend you do the same. Right, so. Now we're just going to slowly mix all of it in, minding the air that's in our egg mixture. We're going to fold it slowly. So I'm using an 8 spoon motion which is basically start at the bottom, draw a circle and do the same at the top. Now 
And remember, you don't like, just fold it until everything is smooth and you can't really see the flour or the sugar anymore. And just do it very gently. And at this stage, the mixture should be quite thick. So, if you have a thick mixture, don't worry now. Skip this part and then um, move on to the rest. So I'm just folding it in gently now. As you can see, it's almost smooth, and that's how it should be like a dropping consistency now. So now I'm just going to add it in the tin. And then we're just going to bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes. And if you've got an especially um, higher temperature oven, which cooks stuff very fast, I'd recommend quickly turning uh, the side of the tin halfway through. So in about six-ish minutes, just turn, I ask if you, if for kids watching this, ask an adult to do this for you, uh, just turn the tin to the other side. And that will just make sure uh, everything is cooked evenly. I'm going to add all this to the side. So you want to be careful with doing this because then you'll have a nice shape for to, to the Swiss roll. So make sure the batter reaches every corner of the rectangular cake tin. And because I'm using a deep pan here, um, of course you'll have a lot of gap left at the top, so don't worry about that. You can use a deep pan yourselves if you don't have a smaller tin. And I'd recommend using a deep one too, because then it has more uses than the average thinner tin. Right guys, and this is how the uncooked sort of batter should look in the cake tin. So now, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're just going to bake it for about uh, 10 to 12, uh, about 12 minutes actually, until it's golden and until it's springy to the touch. Um, and yeah. And so, okay, so now the cake's out from the oven, I've just uh, put a dish cloth on the, on the table and I've just took out the t uh, cake out of the tin and just put it on there and because our oven's pretty like really fast it's burnt some of the sides so I'm just going to use a knife to cut them off anyway so it won't matter in the end too much so I'm just going to cut the long sides of my fray of my cake and you can do this on the dishcloth, but just don't put too much pressure on um, the side on, on the cake when you cut it. So. Okie dokie. Um, now I'm just going to turn the same piece of food paper we use in the oven on the other side and then just sprinkle some ground almonds on it. There we go. 
know. And this will help it not to stick and it will also give it a coat. So. it on the almonds. Now we're just going to make a little slit on one side of the Swiss roll, it's on the short side. We're not going to cut all the way, we're just going to make a small slit so we can pull it. Now you just want to quickly roll it and use a grease proof paper as a guide to do that. And even if it has a bit of cracks on it, don't worry too much. Now we're just going to leave it in this position until the Swiss roll cools down. And that will take about 15, 15 more minutes. So if you have a cake tin handy or something, then just put it to the side so you can lean, lean it on. And whilst we've done that, um, I've also prepared some double cream which I whipped until it's medium consistency so you can drop it um, and after we've basically um, cooled it we will add the cream um, also to the cream we're going to add a bit of sugar so about half a tablespoon to one tablespoon or to taste uh, to sweeten this uh, cream a bit and then after this is cooled again then we're just going to uh, place it on the Swiss roll and roll it back up. So, and guys, that is how you make a Swiss roll. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and if you've got any recommendations, don't hesitate to say. So, thank you for watching. Then, I'll have pictures at the end. So, take care. Then. Bye.